We begin tonight with a look back at the devastating flooding of 50 years ago. Hurricane Agnes hit the Wyoming Valley hard in 1972, causing widespread damage and destruction. Newswatch 16's Marshall Keeley spoke to a man who endured the flooding in one community. Marshall joins us in the studio. Yeah, Scott and Lisa, those low lying areas around the Susquehanna saw some of the highest flood waters during Agnes. While many remember the damage to the Wilkesbury area, a community miles north of there experienced significant flooding as well. You never saw anything like it in your life. 91 year old John Williams grew up in West Pittston and has lived in the small community for most of his life. He distinctly remembers that day in 1972 and the 5 a.m. wake up call from a neighbor warning him, his wife and kids to evacuate. Steady rains from Hurricane Agnes led to flooding. Water rose above the banks of the Susquehanna and covered two bridges between Pittston and West Pittston. Because a neighbor of mine, uh, he was over in Pittston, is working. And the river went up, he and his wife and three children, four children next door. He walked across the bridge and here, here's the railroad ties are stepping on them. They're up to the bottom of the tie. It was nuts. After taking his kids to a relative's house in Dallas, Williams returned home, later pulling an old wooden boat from a nearby shed and rowing past homes filling with water. Going down York Avenue, most of the houses had flood water in it, some up four foot, five foot. His aunts and uncle lived a few blocks south of his home on Washington Street. There, the flooding was worse. After trudging through waters to get to higher ground and shelter, William says one of his aunts realized she'd forgotten an essential item. I took the boat around to the front steps. She hops out with the two six packs, gets in the boat, and I took her through yards over fences, and uh, we got over near uh, Exeter Avenue. I pulled into somebody's backyard and they were eating inside. And there's a boat in our yard. She just hopped out with her two six packs and down to my uncle's house. While his home was spared, William says he'll never forget those moments and the destruction. But it was so quiet, it was eerie. You didn't hear any anything because the river went, went down this way and then circled around during Agnes. William says it took months for the community to recover and he remembers his neighbors tearing out walls, shoveling mud and replacing floorboards for weeks. Marshall Keeley, Newswatch 16.